Good afternoon. How are we? <sighs> Today I want to talk about things that we seem to go through again and again and again. And suddenly we realise, hmm, this feels very familiar. And I came across this saying today, all of life's great lessons present themselves again and again until mastered. And that is so true. How many times have you done something, seen something, heard something, experienced something, and there's a little bell goes off and you go, ooh, this is a bit deja vu -y. It's not actually just coincidence. We are here in these lives to learn how to master various things. I know I've experienced certain things in lots of different jobs. And when I look at them, I suddenly go, ah, oh, right, that's what it is. I've got to come to terms with dealing with people who treat me badly, uh, learning to put myself out there, learning to be strong, learning to stand up for other people, learning to stand up for ourselves. And that's the big one, learning to stand up for ourselves. The amount of times most of us will go through situations that are trying to teach us the same lesson time and time again. And it's not until we've actually got them mastered that we move on to something else. Absolutely narky serendipity is what it could be called. But it's always about the fact that we've got to learn the lesson. That's no different than learning to ride a bike. Let's be honest. You only learned how to ride a bike by doing that same thing time and time again. It was called practice. Well, life-based lessons, in fact, want us to practice getting things right and learning how to deal with things in the best possible way. So that's why the same scenarios keep getting presented. That's why you can have various life moments Oh, thank you, Bucky. Various life moments that just keep coming back. The various ways. I think of all my observations over the years. I can't think of one that's gone straight forward. What was I supposed to learn? What was I supposed to find out about those sort of things? It was about getting up and getting back on with things that often took a long time. And even expecting things to turn out right because after you've had a few things that go wrong you start to believe that everything will go wrong so you go into the next adventure operation job with the same ex expectations that things are not going to work so of course do they work no they don't so Going into things with an expectation that it's going to be fine is making it so much different to when you kept going in going, oh, this is going to fail. Because when you think something is going to fail, guess what? Everyone knows it fails. And it's sort of like being the optimist or the pessimist. Do you look at a glass being half full or half empty? Do you expect things will always turn out the worst? And I've heard people say, oh, it's better to expect the worst. Because if you expect the worst, well, you know, if something good happens, then that'll be a bonus. Partner, you expect the worst, guess what you get? The worst. You expect the best and you've given it life you've given it you've given the experience permission to be the best 
And that's the difference. Going into life, expecting, going into an activity, expecting that it's going to turn out great, makes such a difference. I know all those operations I had, I kept thinking, oh, what's going to go wrong this time? Well, me thinking what's going to go wrong this time, in fact, created what's going to go wrong this time. Going into these sort of adventures, these sort of experiences with this is going to go fine, this is going to be awesome, everything's going to be perfect, gives the opportunity for things to be perfect. Thinking that if everything's going to go wrong, just gives life bad things. So how about we all stop and think everything's going to be perfect, perfect finished perfectly, perfect is why I try to be perfect. Um, everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be the best experience it can be. Changing your view from everything's going to be horrible to everything's going to be awesome means that there's more chance of awesome things happening. That's where the energy goes, and there's a saying. The focus goes where the energy flows. So the energy is flowing towards all sorts of horrible negative stuff is where the focus is going to go. We can say it the other way around. The energy goes with it. The energy flows where the focus goes. Either way, you're focusing on it, that's where the energy goes. When you put your energy into positive outcomes, if you put your energy into things are going to be fine, that's where your focus will be. So how about you start with your energy and your focus in the positive place? That's where things will go. It took me a lot of years to realise I actually have to think positively about what is coming. I used to always be caught up in my own what could go wrong. So how many go wrongs, shall I call it, did I create? Many, many, many. So what is it that you put your energy into that's looking at the negative, that's looking at things going wrong? When you start a new job, do you expect it to be awesome? Or do you expect that someone is going to do to you what happened last time? Do you expect that there's going to be assholes there? And guess what? There's going to be assholes there. Or do you expect that this is going to be absolutely amazing and you're going to learn some amazing new lessons and focus on those things? And maybe those assholes just won't come back. They won't come back. That's what I want you to do. Um, I want you to focus on what perfect things can happen, what great lessons can you get from this experience? Because I went through that. My jobs were the same thing kept happening time and time again. Different people, slightly different scenario. But when you boil down the actual essence of them, it was the same. It's only people. <laughs> Sorry about that. Only when you stop and realise that you create the world you live in. So if you want things to turn out really good, if you want things to be perfect, you've got to put the energy work. You've got to start looking for the great lessons, looking for the awesome moments, looking for the best things, not focusing on when's it all going to fall apart. You focus on when it falls apart, it will fall apart. So turn your focus on what can I learn in this experience? What lessons will I get from this that will make my life even better? Turn the focus from those dark things that you seem to focus on towards what is good about this? What what can I input to this? To make everybody's experience better. Turn the energy around. It's 
start looking for the good things instead of focusing on the not so wonderful things, focusing on the things that happened to you last time and the time before and the time before. And start looking at this is going to be awesome. This is going to work for you. This is where I learn some great new lessons. This is where I become courageous. This is where I become a leader, a leader of people, a leader by doing and being an example to others. Then life can start going the way you want it to. Anyhow, make a note, pop down in the messages what you're going to do. What are you going to do? To actually focus on a positive outcome and ensure that the great lesson you have to learn doesn't have to present itself another time. But you actually are going to focus on the right thing, on the positive outcome, and you won't have to do that lesson time and time again. Because if you've just been getting negative each time, if you've just been getting something horrible each time, you haven't actually learned the lesson. You haven't mastered what you have to learn. You just live that same thing over and over again. You've done ground, they've done it. Ground old guys not Okay, people. My 10 minutes or so of chatting to you all up. Have a great weekend. See you on Monday. Bye for now.